So it's Sunday morning and it's race weekend. We're basically going to Santa Pod today. So everything went well on the testing. Obviously, you probably will have sawn. We did the old crew Krispy Kremes, which was hilariously funny. Um, so yeah, you're ready for Santa Pod. It's 10 o'clock. We're supposed to be on the road for 12. Tom was supposed to be here at 10 o'clock. He's not arrived, he's running late. So I'm literally on with doing some final checks on the car, getting everything loaded. We've still got a bit of work to do on Tom's this morning because he's changed his harnesses for safety and some other bits and pieces. But I reckon by one, two o'clock, we'll be on the road and off to Santa Pod. So as I say, we know it's ready when you're cleaning it. So I'm literally cleaning the car off, getting it all washed. So it's ready to go. I haven't got the butler down this time to ruin the exhaust so I can't get no runs in. Uh, so yeah, let's get it cleaned, let's get Tom's ready, and let's get on the road to Santa Pod. So it's just coming up to nine o'clock, and the place is starting to get alive, and everyone's starting to wake up. So let's start getting the car off the trailer, getting it all prepped, getting some bit of a once-over, and then we can get out on the track around half nine ten. So we're in the pits. And I've been wanting to see this ever since I've seen it on the dyno. I think it was yesterday it came onto Facebook. It's a VW Lupo 1.8 turbo, four wheel drive. Now, to surprise people, that there is the standard width of an S3. So it's on stock shafts for size, obviously short and prop. It makes 720, 730 horsepower. Yeah, it's a nice little bit of kit, this. Looking forward to seeing it go tomorrow. Should be it should be something special. It's been one of the cars that I've I've seen on the list and I look look forward to seeing it go because it is just something completely different and right on my street. So we're literally at the top of the first row. Just doing this We're just warming the car up. I'm in my dancing gear. Let's get the nerves off the back. Let's get the first one done, see how we get on. So monkey's off me back. We've been out and done one. Car still runs, still runs great. Drove it back. Both engines are running. Everything's cool. It seems like again, the trigger wheel's held up. It hasn't sheared anything. Uh, the dampener, fingers crossed, has worked. Uh, we didn't do a brilliant time. We did a 12 flat, which I knew I shut off just after the eighth track because it just felt like both engines, the clutches were slipping. But talking to some people that I'm just stood here now, they're all saying the left-hand lane, it's not been glued, it's not been prepped, and traction's horrendous. So it's either clutch is slipping or there's no physical grip. So we're gonna let the car cool off and then we'll get out for another run and see if we can get on. But it's running, driving, first one done. I'll get more than it did last time. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get out.
run number two done. Again, didn't, that one didn't really go to plan. Um, what we were finding on the first run was it was like it was like the clutches were slipping, but I didn't know if they were. They were. I just got the run done and carried on. So this one was more to get it on boost and see if it would work. And what was happening was it was there was just no grip on the left hand lane uh, here today. So what we're finding is the right hand lane they seem to put all the slick cars through. Left hand lane are for treads. Obviously I'm still on treads. So it is literally I'm just struggling for fighting grip all the way up. So if you watch the run, you'll see it squirms because the back engine completely just lit up and it just it just kind of like rocked to the side, the back of the car. There's just no grip here at all. Um, so we're gonna leave it now, probably till after dinner and try again. But no breakages, no problems still running reasonably happy fingers crossed we it getting hot they might glue it after dinner and we might get some proper runs in so we're in the queue let it warm up it's now really late in the afternoon so i think we're gonna get one more run call it a day because at the end of the day we're slipping like mad they're getting no grip whatsoever so there's no point pushing this card anymore so we're in the lines Let's see where we get on. One last run. Time weren't the best, we did an 11 dead. Uh, at a, I think it was like 108, but I did 110 at the eighth, which shows you know the short track, it's got the power. 60 foot is still not great, I think I did a 1860 foot. So I think we're gonna try and squeeze one in there a bit more um, because now I can find a bit of traction now. I must have warmed up the track or they glued it, so we're gonna go out. And these are the wankers over here that keep saying hi guys and all that. Hi Ben. Hi everyone. I don't know what's gone on. Something's happened at the top of the runway, the top of the uh, drag strip. But this is kind of some of the risks we take. So fingers crossed, there's nothing wrong. Fingers crossed, whatever, whatever's happened will get sorted. But it must be serious if we send an helicopter in. My best wishes go to whoever it is. Fingers crossed they're all good. So this is one uh, car we've been following and he's a friend of mine. We've, we've kind of come friends over these projects. It is a twin engine Astra pickup. And he's going through the same issues I am. He's going through the same problems I am. And it's nice to have someone who we can bounce ideas off who's doing the same issues that I'm coming across and get you know feedback and we can both try and help each other he's running two Saabs don't tell anyone but we don't like Saabs <laughs> um, but yeah he's, he's just done I think I think it's just an 11 flat I think looks like the natural stands maybe some issues but we'll find out when I bump into him but yeah that's the, tw the twin engine Astra pickup So this is another car I've been looking forward to seeing. Um, Astra Mar 5 van. Front wings off the like the BTCC car. Zedlet. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is probably the powerfulest one in the country at the moment. I know Matt Lowell's was up there, but I think it's, it's not running as good as it was. This is, I think, mid-700s. Uh, he's having some O-ring issues, some leaking. Not been out yet for a run, but I'm sure at some point it'll be out and it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. But lovely car, lovely build. 
Yeah, looks comfy in there, a lot comfier than mine, let me tell you. But no, something different, something interesting. Like it, still Vauxhall. Yeah, brilliant. Let's watch it go up, hopefully, fingers crossed. So, last run, didn't really go to plan. Um, bogged down in first, went into second, didn't really get a good take, take up speed, and then it unbalanced the suspension when I went second to third. So, I just aborted the run uh, and went over. Um, but on the upside, we're calling it a day. It's now four o'clock, the car's running. Um, there's no real issues, no real problems. I could literally go again if I wanted to. The car's running the best it's running in a long time. So let's pack up and I'll give you the full rundown when I'm driving home. So we're back home. Didn't have a chance to record this, obviously driving when I said, but you know, I thought I'd go into a little bit more detail and summarize what's going on, what I've seen, what data we've collected and where we're up to at the moment. So we did four runs to this four runs. First run, as I said earlier on probably in the video, fighting traction, span all four wheels all the way up to the point of I thought the clutches were slipping. But I got on the surface road, the um, service road, loaded up on boost, it felt good. It must have been the surface. Went out for the second run. Um, pulled, pulled on the front engine, back engine lost grip, span the wheels, had to abort the run. Traction was horrendous in the morning because what they'd done was one lane was treads, one lane was uh, slicks. When I say treads, I mean road legal tyres. So, so I was struggling, fighting grip. Afternoon came. I thought to myself, let's do another one. It's one and done if needs be. Get it on the trailer, call it a day because there's no point carrying on if I'm getting no grip. And this is the run I want to talk about. Did the run, got into it. Set off all right. Uh, eighth mile was fine. Got just past the eighth mile. Seemed to lose a bit of grip. Car started wavering quite bad. I avoided the run just after the eighth mile. The video will show that. You can see it yourself. It's all on there. But the numbers I want to talk about are them ones. We ended up finishing that run, I think, at 11 dead it was. 11-0. But... This is where, you know, discussing of where the car's going to be, but what numbers I'm thinking, what I'd like to see, fingers crossed, is at the eighth mile, uh, we just tipped into the six seconds. So I think it was a six, 6.9 at the eighth at 110 mile an hour. Now that there is, if I could have kept in it, and I'd, I would have done my part, that there would have potentially have been a nine second run. And to do that, on road legal tyres, I think that's you know that's 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 a pretty good time, and I'm, I would have been over the moon with that. But obviously, you know, we're getting the short track sorted out, the eighth mile sorted, before we start getting some slicks and carrying on. But then also to show, explain to people the back end. So I crossed the eighth mile at 110 mile an hour. I'd finished the quarter mile, so another eighth mile at 113 mile an hour. So only gaining three mile an hour. So that shows I was off the power, I'd backed off and I was cruising along. So technically that there shows on that quarter mile run that the car has got the power to do, you know, the numbers that I'm thinking it should do. And especially still on road legal tires. So 110 into the sixes on the eighth mile an hour. I'm very, very happy with that on road legal tires. Again, we've got slicks. And I think that's going to be the next point of what we're going to have to take with us for the next day. Um, because, again, if we have the grip issue again in the future, that's what we need to be looking at. People with 300 horsepower cars were having grip issues all day long in the left-hand lane. So, no. Uh, we did a fourth run. I got a bog, a bog coming off the line. Came on to boost in second. Unloaded the suspension, changed into third, got a bit squirmy, got out of it, wasn't really worth doing, but then called it a day. The car is running perfect. The car has no problems, there's no issues, the car has never run so good. It is sat here now with not a single job to do. I could put it on the trailer and go racing again tomorrow. 
So I am over the moon with that. To do four runs, to get some good data, to show again, the car's got a lot of power. I've kind of getting the short track sorted out. I'm seeing where I need to be. Happy, 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 happy. And again, also to add, I'm still only hitting, you know, uh, a 1.85, I think would be best 60 foot. So again, there's still some very good improvements to get on the 60 foot. With or without slicks, I still think these good times. And to give people an idea, a front wheel drive uh, car on slicks are doing one five, one sixes on, on a good day. So there's plenty of room for improve, um, improvement for the car. There's plenty of room to get some a lot better times. And with the car, fingers crossed, hopefully becoming reliable, we can get out and we can get them numbers right down. So I don't know where we've got next time we're going to be out. I know we're definitely at race walls in August. We're trying to get one in on July. We'll see where we end up. So, successful weekend. Thanks for watching. Oh, can I also say what was really nice the weekend? People were coming up to me going, all right, mate. And I never knew who they were, but there were people who had watched the video and recognised my face and came and spoke to me. Thank you so much for that. Brilliant to get some feedback and brilliant to talk to you guys. It was a bit surreal that people had corresponded with me like they kind of knew me personally. Brilliant. Love it. So, yeah, as I say, that's me signing off. I'll see you on the next video. Like and subscribe. Take care.